Good morning everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jonathan Yu and this is my blog. So the other day, I came across this article titled Allow Refugees to Work, Give Access to Basic Healthcare Education Charles by a Amar Shah Mohsin. It really caught my attention and I really want to discuss, to, to talk about and to, to share uh, uh, this article and, and even to analyze it critically and to give my own opinion about what I think about this article as well. So let us dive straight into it. This article was actually written by Amar Shah Mohsen after the press conference with Klang Minister of Parliament Charles Santiago. So for those that are not aware or are not familiar with the politics, Charles Santiago is actually um, a politician, a Malaysia politician from the Democratic Action Party, the DAP. He is currently serving as a three-term Minister of the Parliament of Malaysia for the Klang constituency of the state Selangor. He is the chairperson of ASEAN uh, Parliamentarians for Human Rights as well. So technically, we refer to him as Yang Berhormat Chao Santiago, YB Santiago. The author of this article reporting on the press conference of the uh, issue, on the other hand, is the one and only Amar Shah Mohsen. Well, Amar, for those that don't know, Amar is not your average minor league journalist, a small-time journalist. No, he's not. He's a fresh grad a fresh graduate from the University of Selangor uh, Unicel. However, but don't let Amar's fresh grad status fool you. Despite his fresh graduation status, and at a very young age of 26, Amar is already a full-time journalist hired by The Sun's newspaper. As some of you might already know Sun's newspaper is quite the, the name in Malaysia is quite the the old timer newspaper that has been going for years in Malaysia. So for them to be to be hiring Amar, a fresh graduate, you must be thinking that Amar might you know be reporting on some small news here and there, but no, that is not the case. Amar, despite only joining the newspaper for two years is already covering for major big news around Malaysia. Just to name a few, Amar did the cover for the helicopter crash that happened in Semenye last year. He also covered for Bursay 4.0 and even the Red Rally during the sensitive period in Malaysia. So, now you know Amar. It's Amar, uh, Sh Amar Shah Mohsen is not just any journalist. He is one of the one of the many important journalists in Malaysia. So, diving into the article, to further understand the roles of refugees in our country, I aim to provide the discussion of the issue today. The discussion about the issue, the argument, and even the evidence presented by Amar, the author. First of all, the issue is that the author highlighted why is it important for those who seek, who are seeking refuge in Malaysia to take up jobs in the country, as well as being given access to basic education and healthcare. Well, the argument that the author made is that by hiring refugees, the government could afford to cut down on the numbers of migrant workers being employed in certain industries. On top of that, 
the author continues to build upon the idea by stating that we need to change our labor management policies to reduce the number of migrant workers here. And the vacancies can then be filled by refugees who are already currently in our country. He also claims that the Human Resources Ministry should think of hiring the refugees, stating that this is where the government needs to rethink the way they shape their policies around refugees and make good use of their skills. Well, my belief is that it is very important that Malaysia are able to utilize the skills and abilities of the refugees of the country. Moreover, my values are being economical, you know, being compassion and being able to fully utilize talent. In fact, as an upper class man myself, I understand the struggle and the amount of money it will cost to hire a foreign workers for my own business. Hire a foreign workers from the outside of the country can prove to be troublesome. Therefore, by hiring the refugees that are currently already in the country, we not only provide jobs for the refugee themselves, but also save us money and the troubles such as applying for visa, filling up the paperwork, trying to clear the immigration, or even the transportation and so on. Well, this goes to show that I'm going in a similar direction as the author. In fact, my beliefs, my values, and my status further reinforce the author's idea. And based on the belief, the value, and status that I stated earlier, it is safe to say that I'm agreeing with the author. That the refugees should be allowed to work in Malaysia. Personally, I have observed the number of refugees that increases from time to time to time in the country. These refugees might be professionals, might be experts in certain fields. They might be nurses, might be doctors, lawyers, architect, an IT person, or even just experienced workers back in their home country. However, even if they are willing and they are eager to look for a job in Malaysia, to have a stable income or just to provide food for their family, they are unable to do so. Why? This is due to the laws and policies they are currently set in Malaysia. Therefore, while these experts, these, these skillful people are rotting away, not being able to utilize their expertise in our country, the government, on the other hand, are seeking to bring in similar talents from outside the country at a much higher price and much more complicated procedure. Not to mention the time wasted, the time that will be wasted to go through all this. This goes to say that the government should really rethink over how they are placing the refugees in our country and how they can be able to fully utilize these refugees for their benefit and for our own benefit as well. On top of that, I think that the refugees are often not allowed to work in our country due to the stereotype that the locals have towards them. Locals often see foreign expertise as those who will steal their jobs away, you know, steal their money away. And by allowing the refugees, these foreign, foreign experts to work, it might spark a conflict. However, we sometimes fail to realize that the refugees have no intention of doing so. In fact, if given the choice, the refugee wouldn't even want to stay here, let alone work for us. And in the case that if they want to stay here and work for us, they would, they would take on the lowest of the job, starting from the bottom, given their choices and their current situation. They wouldn't mind working working as as a labor force, as, as, a, as a workforce, as tough 
hard jobs that nobody in Malaysia wanted, that the locals all go away from. They do mind working these hard, tough hours that nobody else wanted just to be able to put food on their table. Hence, to summarize, I think that government should really allow the refugees to work here, allowing them to contribute to our country in different ways, utilizing their skills and benefiting them and us at the same time. With that, I have come to the end of my discussion today. So, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about what we have talked about today? Do you feel the same way as me? Do you have a different opinion than mine? Well, regardless, I hope that everyone benefited from this uh, video today and that you have learned something. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section, to like, subscribe and even share this video to everyone around you. Well, thank you for watching. I will see you again. Bye-bye.